Good morning or evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. Anderson for Kellogg Community College. And in this fourth video for Chapter 4, Section 1 of Trigonometry, we're going to look at some story problems using sine, cosine, tangent, and inverse functions and Pythagorean theorem. So what we're going to do here is we're going to find the distance from A to C across this pond. And here's what we know, that this is 100 feet long. And this angle measurement right there is 40 degrees. So if I'm to draw the picture a little bit again, because the um, duplication from the book was a little shaky, this is going to be 40 degrees from here to here. And we're just supposed to find the measure of A to C. And we know that this distance is 100 feet. Well, the relationship to find that missing x between A and C, between the 40 degrees from that perspective, is opposite over adjacent. So this would be the tangent of 40 degrees is equal to x over 100. And again, there's a couple little warnings here. Make sure your calculator is in degree mode. And next, let us cross multiply. Now, if you multiply everything by 100, you get 100 is e times the tangent of 40 degrees is equal to x. So 100 times tangent of 40 is going to be approximately, for my x, going to be approximately 83.91 feet. And that would make sense since this would be a 50 degree angle, so this side would be a little bit longer than this uh, side right here um, because it's across from the 40 degree angle, not the 50. All right, let's take a look at number 24. A portable ladder has to go three feet beyond its support. All right, so if what we're seeing there is that if we have a ladder, the support is here, right? And if you've used a ladder before, you got to make sure your ladder isn't just touching just right at that spot or else it will slide out and fall down. So you need this three feet beyond its support, says maybe OSHA. And it says the distance of the floor of the ladder needs to be a fourth of the ladder's height. So this is important because it says if you have a 12 foot ladder, so this whole distance is 12 here, 12, hold on. So this whole distance here is 12. It says find the anger of ang angle of elevation. So that means that this is going to be our, our angle here. We'll call this angle theta that we're trying to find. Now it says here the distance from the floor to the ladder is a fourth of the ladder height. So this here um, is not drawn to scale. This actually wouldn't be very far away from the wall at all. If you have the ladder that far away, you're probably most likely to slide off and fall. But it says here a portable ladder has to go three feet beyond its support. The distance from the floor to the ladder needs to be a fourth of the ladder height. Now the ladder height is 12. So a fourth of the ladder height of 12, a fourth of 12 is 3. So this measurement down here going across is 3. So to redraw your picture again here, if we drew the picture here, this would be 3. And this would be, this distance from here to here would be 9. And the reason why it would be 9 is because, remember, we have a 12-foot ladder that has to go 3 feet beyond. So we're going to find that angle theta right there. So we're going to use cosine. The cosine of theta is equal to 3 over 9, which is the same thing as a third. But to find theta, I'm going to use my inverse cosine function, which flip-flops our 3 ninths position with the position of theta. So now we can find that angle using that inverse cosine. And the inverse cosine of 1 third is going to be approximately 70.53 degrees. So that's my theta. So it's a pretty big angle, and you should probably know to put your ladders you know, closer to the wall rather than further away. Um, and again, that's according to OSHA's rules and regulations here. All right, so let's go take it beyond to these last two problems here. It says, a straight trail with an inclination of 17 degrees leads from a hotel at an elevation of 9,000 feet to a lake at 11,200 feet. So we're, on, we're already up way high into uh, the air, and we've got this, this trail that has a 17-degree incline. Okay, now they want to know the length of the trail because they want to take someone from a level of 9,000 feet up to a level here of... 11,200 feet. Now again, I'm sorry that's so hard to read. This is 17 degrees inside of my triangle here. So now the question becomes, 
and again that's for that little angle right in there what is the length of the trail and that would be X that's the part you can walk on so to take somebody up that 2,000 feet how many feet are like how many thousands of feet are they gonna walk if this is a very small grade now I know this is going to be in thousands because going from 9,000 to 11,200 is a difference of 2,200. So there's the difference between the high point and the low point here. So we need to find x in terms of a sine cosine or tangent from the perspective of 17 degrees. Well that's going to be opposite over hypotenuse or sine. So the sine of 17 degrees is equal to 2,200 divided by x. Now from a trick that we learned in the previous section here, or the previous video in this section, is to flip-flop the x and the sine of 17, which is a cross-multiplication trick. So 2200 divided by sine of 17 degrees, again making sure your calculator is in degree mode. x is going to be approximately 7524.67 feet. So to take someone up a very gradual slope, not tax them too much, you're going to have to make that ramp very, very, very long. So even though they're only climbing up 2,200 feet, you're taking them, you know, between four and five times that length. All right, so now here's one last thing. It says for every foot of a handicap ramp, you can have no more than one inch incline. So we're going to find the angle of any legal handicap ramp. So it says for every foot of handicap ramp, so this right here is a foot, you can have no more than one inch of incline. So our job is to find the angle theta right here. Now, if this is a foot and this is an inch, I know what you might be thinking is to put one here and one here, but you gotta use the same units. So are you gonna turn everything into inches or everything in terms of the feet? It'd probably be easier to turn it into inches, 12 inches and one inch, and the reason why is because now you have a good ratio to use. So the sine of theta, because this is opposite over hypotenuse, is equal to 1 12th. So using, to find our theta, we're going to use an inverse function. So the inverse sine flip-flops the place of the fraction with the theta. So now I can type this into the calculator and find out that my angle for any legal handicap ramp, according to OSHA and some building standards, your state may vary, 4.78 degrees. So if you build a handicap ramp and they find out that the angle is greater than 4.78 degrees or close to 5 degrees, um, you're going to have to rebuild the ramp, which involves a lot of deconstruction and concrete removal. So please make sure you build one, measure, what is it, measure twice, cut once? Well, here you go, measure once, measure maybe once carefully and then build once. Take care, everybody. Thank you for watching.